everyone, it's Robin here, and today I'm pretty excited because we have a Disney DIY. So what are we gonna make? Well, we have a headband, we have some tropical flowers, and we have some tiki birds. Wow, oh, look at these guys. Yes, we're making enchanted tiki room inspired mini ears, and I can't be any more excited about this to happen. So let's just get started, but wait, you know what? First I think we need a little ambiance. Oh yes, bring those island vibes right in and send us away to the tropics because we are about to make our tiki ears. Let's get started. I am super excited to make these enchanted tiki room inspired mini ears. I can't wait. I mean, just look at the colors in front of you. So here's what we'll be using today. We have a headband, a satin headband that we'll be using. We'll also be using two five inch bamboo rings. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Those are gonna be so fabulous. We'll also be using a lot of the florals that you see in front of us. I just picked those up in various stores, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, the Dollar Tree even has tropical florals. Uh, Walmart had some too, so you can pick them up in a lot of places. These are pretty special here, these plumerias. They come in a bag of 10. I picked these up on Amazon. I will link Link down below a lot of this for you so that you can find them. They're foam plumerias and they have a clip on the back so you know what you don't use you can put in your hair and make yourself fabulous. Love these. We'll also need a tiki bird and I picked up a pack of six. Look at all those fabulous birds in there. Got these from Amazon. Again I'll link that down below. We'll be using one and we're gonna use this cutie purple guy here. Oh my gosh isn't he adorable? Look at him. Look at him. Oh so cute. Okay so we'll need a few things to actually you know piece this together and first you'll need a glue gun. I have mine over here heating up. And I have some extra glue sticks here. We'll also, I have a pen so that I can uh, mark some sp spaces on my headband. Some scissors would be helpful. And I have some ribbon. And what this ribbon will do um, is help secure these bamboo rings to the headband once I glue them in case I need it. This is a ribbon that I already had here. It's kind of a satin see-through kind of a see-through ribbon. Um, I didn't buy ribbons, so I'm using what I had, but I think the green will camouflage nicely with the leaves. So here you have it. Okay, are you ready to get started? Let me clear this off and then let's get going. The first thing we're gonna do is position our bamboo rings onto the headband for our mini ears. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball them first here. That looks about right. And I also want to make sure, let me put this heavy part down there. See this part of the bamboo is a little heavier. And I'm trying to find the flatter, heavier parts to go towards the bottom. Probably right there. That looks good. Okay, so let me straighten that up. Uh, on regular mini ears, between the two ears is roughly two inches, but these are circular, so it's gonna be a little different. I do have a pair of mini ears here, and I'm gonna lay them on top, like so, and see if my positioning is close. See, that looks pretty good, right? Let me um, move this here. I think that's about right. So I think I'm going more like three inches. That looks about right. Right about there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick this one up here with, and hold on to it because I wanna mark this center with a pen. Kinda just my marker. Just to give me a rough spot because that's where I'm gonna glue this first pair. So let's just get that on. Now these are circular, so let's see how this works, right? <laughs> just a little terrified. So I'm gonna put just a whole bunch kind of right in that one spot to help hold it. Okay. And then I'm just gonna hold this on just like so. And I'm just gonna sit and hold it. Just like so until it kind of takes hold. Okay, so I held this for quite a while until the glue took hold, and now I'm going to align the second side. And let me put my ears back on here. And you know, that looks about right. So let me um, hang on to this and make a mark. 
so that I remember where the center is. And now I'm gonna put a bunch of glue right there. I'm putting a huge amount, which will take it a little longer to adhere, but I really want that sturdiness. I think it's gonna end right here. Ready? Plop that on. And then just hold on to this until it gets secure. Okay, so I held these for quite a while until they felt very secure and that the glue dried, but they will need some reinforcement. These bamboo rings are beautiful, but they are thick and they are heavy and they are round, so they don't hold as well as regular Mickey ear pieces would that you would glue on. So I cut two pieces of this sheer ribbon that I will be using to do just that. So I am going to first just poke it through here and I'm just gonna go halfway because I'm just gonna twirl all the way around just to give it that extra reinforcement. So let's see, keep just twirl. And um, I have two pieces because I wanna end up tying them in the center. So twirl around here and that should really help give it that reinforcement that it needs. So I'm just gonna tie it off into a, a knot right here. And all of this will be covered with flowers. So this will be fine. But I'm gonna tie it with a knot. I'm also going to add a dot of glue to keep it together. But the screen actually will look nice because if you do spot it, it just kind of will look like the leaves, right? So let me just trim this off. I probably should have better scissors for this. These scissors are at my desk. They cut all kinds of things. Certainly not ribbon, but it doesn't have to be pretty. Okay, so that seems secure. Let me do the other side and then we will go ahead and put a dab of glue on here. Okay, I have these on. Let me just put a dop of glue on there. There we go, a dop of glue to help hold it down. And again, doesn't have to be pretty because it will be covered. Perfect. Okay, let me just let this dry for a second and then we will get our decorations on. Okay, so these have dried enough. So let me turn those over. That will be the back. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready. So now I'm ready to put the flowers on. Very exciting. I have so many beautiful colors here. Now, normally I would put my larger flower first to start, but these plumerias are pretty special because they have this clip on the back and I wanna use that clip to our advantage. So I'm gonna clip it straight on. See, it clips straight onto the headband right here. Look at that. Really nice, right? So I'm gonna clip them right here, right where these meet the headband. I'm gonna do it on all the angles. Look at that. I will also glue them down, but I'm just gonna clip them right now to start with so that I can get the rest of my design going. Uh, perfect. They already are looking really nice. I really like these foam flowers too because they hold up nicely. Look at that. So look at this already, look at that. Okay, so you can see the back, they are just clipped right where the bamboo is kind of meeting the headband. So yeah, there we go. So I can move them around a little bit. I might leave them unglued for the moment while I figure out the rest of my design but I'm already pretty happy with these. They're already looking very tropical. So now we're gonna take our plumeria. This is my largest flower. This will be my centerpiece because I wanna put it right here, smack in the center. I think that would look quite lovely. 
and I'm gonna fit it around these plumerias. So let's just do this here. I think that will look nice. So I'm gonna turn it over here and I'm gonna put a bit of glue on this and uh, stick it right there. And just hold it there, twirl it around, making it all pretty. Okay, that looks pretty good. And uh, let's see. I want to also take this purple flower and kind of move it to the back because I do want to make sure the back gets covered a bit, but it'll also still bring some color out in the front, I think. So if we put this kind of right here, that might work out nicely, like so. Yeah, that's what I'll do, just like that. So let me put a little dab of glue there. And just lay that down. This will help give the back some interest too. But you can also see the color from the front, which will be really pretty. Okay, next I have some of these. I want this to go through this side here. I think that would be pretty to give it different heights and different looks. So I'm gonna do that in the front. So I have it kind of in the front here. And you know, you can just kind of figure this out as you go, depending on the flowers you have. It also depends on, you know, what I'm doing depends on uh, too. Let me just put this on the flower here the shape of my flowers and I'm going to stick that right to the ring here that's stuck to the ring so let me hold that a second I want it to kind of float through the center of the ear a little bit so just make sure that glue holds and then um, once you get all your interest points you can start filling in any holes that you have or pieces that you don't want to be seen like on this back here so yeah, I think that'll look nice. Put that so it holds there. Ooh, super pretty. Yeah, just burned my finger. <laughs> super nice. You know, uh, before I put any more flowers in, I kind of want to perch my bird in here. Now, I, I really just want my bird on one side. So I'm going to put my bird over here and um, kind of mix in with this flower a little bit, right? So let's see, I'm going to put him so that he perches right here on that ribbon that I put in the back. So let me see, let's see. He has a clip too, but I can't really use his clip. But I can glue him. I'm going to glue him kind of up as far as I can like that so that you can see him through the front and you can see him through the back. So yeah, he's kind of glued by his clip, actually. So let me put some glue there and uh, see if we can get him on here. Get him to stay. These birds are really cute. Oh my gosh, look at that. He's adorable. Just kind of peeking out of the plumerias. I love plumerias. Oh my gosh, they're such a beautiful flower. They uh, come, these plumeria flowers in the foam come in lots of different colors, but I really just wanted the traditional white with the yellow center. I think they're just so pretty, super pretty. I think he's gonna look really nice here. So you might have to hold them for just a bit to get the glue to stick. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, I have my bird in here nicely. So you can see he's perched there on the back. And I do wanna fill in some of these spaces and I wanna build up a little bit. Uh, these ears aren't gonna have a bow, so I'm using the florals in the center. And I do have another one of these yellow deals that I kinda wanna put straight up here to give it some more height. So let's do that right there. That looks like a good spot for it. Okay, and now I have some of these smaller red flowers that I'm gonna fill in some of these spaces with. And the first space I'm gonna fill in is the side of my bird over here, this little side here. So let's just fill him in here. I think that will look nice. You'll see it from this side, it'll give it more color. But um, I'll put that carefully down. You just wanna poke that in there. So let's put this on here. 
and see if we can get it to fit how we want it. Might help hold him a little bit too. Well, that looks good. Yeah, that's helping cover the back up. Okay, I think that back looks okay. Let's uh, see about filling some of these little red ones up in the front. And there we have them. Oh my gosh, these are really cute. So um, these are the foam plumeria clip-on flowers. They look really nice here, and uh, I think they really kind of set the theme going on in the front for sure. Our little bird is poking out here. And I used a larger flower in the center. I only used one really large flower, actually. And um, I like these two yellow pieces because they're giving it a little more depth and interest, especially since I don't have a bow going on here. And the back is fully covered. Now, it might be a little lopsided though. Maybe I need a little purple right here because I have my big purple flower here and I have a purple bird. But I used some of these red florals to help cover the back which I think is really nice uh, when you're walking I do like to have the back covered I might find one more purple here I think maybe one more purple is that too much the back is getting crazy my purple flowers tend to be pretty large I wonder what that'll look like in the front might balance it a bit but I did like that he was just purple by himself over here let's see that's what's nice about these ears, is you can really do whatever you want. Oh, that looks pretty good. Let me put that piece there. You can do whatever you want in what you like and uh, the flowers that you have. And you know, that's what's fun about creating uh, ears and things of that nature, is you really can just be creative with it, right? You can just do whatever you want. There's a lot of flowers on here. I probably would have wished these purple might have been a little smaller, but I think this is fine. But look at the front. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. These turned out super cute. I am so obsessed with these ears for sure. Now I made a slight change when I, since I've left you. I took off on the back this big purple flower that I had down here. Um, I did find another one of my red ones and I replaced it with that. I think it balances out a little better on the back. I thought this made it just to be a little too much. <laughs> too much, right? <laughs> but I think that that worked out nice. Yes, let me give you a close up of these ears. So here we have our beautiful tiki bird right there in the ear with our foam plumeria flowers, with all the colors of the tropics, with my center hibiscus, love that. I love these yellow flowers too, and these bamboo rings. Let me show you the back. I covered everything up. We do have a little purple going here with our bird, but the rest I put just the red flowers. And I think these are fun, super fun. I'm gonna put these straight on the head Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. These are fun, it's super cute. You know, they feel really sturdy too. They feel really good. I will say this though, the bamboo rings do make them slightly heavier than regular mini ears. Not bad though, but if you did want a lighter pair, you could use an embroidery hoop. Those would work really well too, plus they'll give you the opening for you to put your tiki bird in there. Or two or three, I don't know. Maybe we're all a little extra, it's okay. I'm having so much fun with these. I enjoyed this DIY so much. I hope you enjoyed it too. I have some Disney crafts coming up in the future that I'm pretty excited about, so yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. If you enjoy all that and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you as part of my Disney family. In the meantime, thank you all so much for joining me. I am going to just play this music out because I am really enjoying this island vibe and I'm gonna go sing some words with some birds and you know what, I'm craving Dole Whip for some reason. Anyway, I hope you all have a magical day and I will see you in my next video. Aloha.